sitting here in the sun, enjoying the day, and it's just great. It's Utopia, New York. Oh! Every day should be Summer Street Day. <laughs> Yay! There we go. <laughs> All of these people are going to enjoy car-free streets from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. Seven miles all the way up some of the most iconic streets of New York, Park Avenue. We encourage everybody to get out and play and take a dance class and aerobicize or cha-cha, uh, do anything you want. And it's not just about being in motion. It's also about if you want to go out and have a cup of coffee and enjoy those streets and, and people watch. I mean, there are wonderful ways to get out and enjoy the streets of New York. And so this is going to be a great Saturday. It's great for fitness. It's great for fun. It's just, it's just a great way to see the city. So now, what do you guys have to do today? We have to guard the street and protect. Stay and protect. We are marshals. We are marshals. <laughs> You're a little scared having the bare feet today? Yeah, I was a little scared for a smile, but it's, it's been okay. Yeah? Yeah. It's a whole different perspective. I mean, you know, you, you, you zip by it in a cab usually. Well, you get to see things that you would never otherwise see. You know, the statue of Cornelius Vanderbilt. Who knew? The best part is watching people look up and enjoy buildings from the safety of the street instead of avoiding looking up because they're trying to avoid collision with motorists. For eight years, we've been anxious to go come out of the house and sit on the grass. You can sit here and have lunch. It's a wonderful place to be, but it's, it, it's terrible during the day with the cars going along and the fumes and the noise and the horns and everything. But today, it's incredible. I'm sitting here, you wanna see the painting I did? The general interest, as we can see, is that people want to take over the streets and people want to have fun and people want to meet out as equals. And this develops a sense of belonging and this is really what makes New York the greatest city in the world. It actually reminds me a lot of Bogota, like all the, dan the dance classes in the middle of the street. I don't know how everyone found out about it because the crowds are huge. This is a unique experience, first time in New York City I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing this. Yeah. We're going all the way downtown and coming back, all the way uptown. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is great fun, they should close the streets more often. Summer streets, we love them. It really shows that Traffic is not like the weather. It's not just something that is there and you can't do anything about. And that when you get the cars out of the way, it really shows people what more can be done with the streets in the city and how they can be put to much higher uses. I'm sitting in the middle of Park Avenue and it is quiet and peaceful and wonderful. I got my kids right here and I'm not worried that they're gonna get run over by a car. I'm not paranoid that I have to keep an eye on them every second or their lives are in danger. You close the streets to traffic, and the whole world opens up. We are so lucky to live in a city where Mayor Bloomberg and his team want to show the world that New York City is a sports capital of the world and a model city for healthy living. Who likes that? It was fantastic. I thought that it was great. I did see a lot of children really having fun. It was ridiculously fun. They should have done this a long time ago. I love the fact that there was no noise in the street. We should do it every Saturday and then add more days each year. And I think we have to applaud the mayor and the commissioner for having had the guts. Sometimes it's so much easier to do nothing and then when you do nothing, no one complains. But they are doing things and making a city more at the human scale and I think that's what's exciting. We've got two more Saturdays to go after this and it's my hope that this becomes an iconic event uh, for New York City for the next hundred years. Man.